In this lecture, we will introduce one of the most important concepts in microeconomics, namely utility. Let's begin by looking at the definition of utility. If you look up utility in a dictionary, you'll find that it means something like the state of being useful, profitable, or beneficial. The term has a more specific meaning in economics and philosophy, where the definition centers around well-being, satisfaction, pleasure, or happiness. Since one of the fundamental issues in microeconomics is to analyze consumption choice by individuals, utility tend to mean the ability of a commodity to satisfy needs or wants. We can also say that the utility is the satisfaction experienced by the consumer of that commodity. So we will define utility as a measure of preferences of a consumption bundle. Utility will become a number associated with a particular bundle in such a way that a bundle strictly preferred to another bundle will have a strictly higher utility. For this reason, we introduce the utility function. A utility function is a rule that assigns a real number to every possible consumption bundle. Take any bundle, say five cookies, 45 minutes of listening to banjo music by your neighbor, and three cups of tea. Plug this bundle, 4,45,3, into the utility function, and it will return a number, say 562. You may wonder what units utility is measured in, and we will return to this issue later. For now, the utility function is simply a function which assigns a real number to a bundle. In the two goods model, a bundle consists of x1 units of the first good and x2 units of the second good, where x1 and x2 must be greater than or equal to zero. The domain of our utility function is therefore R2+, the first quadrant of the Cartesian coordinate system. The codomain, the set that our utility function will map into, is R, the collection of all real numbers. We do allow negative levels of utility, although they are rare. The symbol that we use for the utility function, as well as for the level of utility, is u, and we write u is equal to u of x1, x2. Here is a simple example. Let's say that we have a consumer with utility function u, which is equal to x1 times x2. Perhaps good one is cookies and good two is milk. If she consumes two cookies and five glasses of milk, her utility of this bundle is two times five or 10. She will also receive 10 units of utility by consuming five cookies and two glasses of milk. Four cookies and three glasses of milk will be associated with 12 units of utility, while her utility will be zero if X1 or X2 is zero. From this example, we can see that she's indifferent between the bundles 2,5 and 5,2. Two cookies and five glasses of milk is as enjoyable to her as five cookies and two glasses of milk. A consumer with this utility function will have an indifference curve containing both these two bundles. Since she received 12 units of utility for the 4,3 bundle, she strictly prefers this bundle to the 2,5 bundle. In terms of weak preferences, 4,3 is weakly preferred to 2,5 but you can also say that the 2,5 bundle is weakly preferred to the 5,2 bundle. 